So for over a year now, I have been sitting on a digital product that I created for you guys. It is a seven step e-guide that I wrote based off of my experience on becoming a web developer, the self-taught route. So this is all from the perspective of like being self-taught and kind of going about things on your own. And again, this is all from my experience. So I wanted to create something based off of my experience that might be helpful for anyone who is at the beginning of their coding journey or even for those of you who think you might wanna code or just get into tech, but you're not really sure exactly where to start or what languages to pick or what you wanna focus on, it's kinda of tailored to maybe people that are going through those things. So I thought it would be fun to document this process because it is the first time that I'm putting something out creatively outside of a YouTube video or a blog post. And today is June 2nd, or sorry, June 22nd. It is Saturday and I have a few things that I do have to get through before I can actually make this live and available to the public to be able to purchase. Um, but if you're watching this video, that means that the e-guide is posted and is available to purchase and I'll have the description, or I have the link in the description box below. So. I am going to sit here and kind of make a to-do list, just make sure that I kind of know what I need to do throughout this video or throughout this day to get through and hopefully be posting and making live my first digital product either tonight or tomorrow, but for sure by the time this video is out because that's why it's coming out. So let's jump into what we need to do and then I'll kind of talk more about what you might be able to expect from the e-guide. Okay, so looking at my to-do list that I made the other day, I'm just gonna go through and make sure that all of this is still like relevant and valid and that I don't need to add anything else to it. But um, I need to consider maybe a secondary subtitle. I have a subtitle that I have there now that is okay, but after rereading this and just going through the document and or like the e-guide and updating things to be more current for 2024, I, kind of was also reconsidering that title, but if I do that, I'll also need to go through the footer on each page, which isn't bad, it's like 34, 35 pages. It's really not that bad, I can just copy and paste um, and change the title there because I have the title at the bottom of each page. So that's something to consider today. Um, I have a couple of the different ideas that I have for the subtitle here, so I will consider between the two, at least there's only two because I'm very indecisive and it, if I have too many options, it's just, yeah, y'all already know me. I've said that so many times, but um, I will decide on that and whatever y'all see when y'all go to see the e-guide, then that's what I decided on. So um, I do wanna read through it one more time because there is a section in there that I'm kind of considering either completely removing, or not a section, but like a couple paragraphs that I either wanna remove or just kinda like tweak a little bit to, better fit my thought process around that topic a little bit better since it has been so long and I've had a little bit more life experience through the tech industry. So thinking about that, but it also can still work. It's like still valid. I just don't know that I like the way that I worded things. So I don't know if I wanna remove that or just tweak it a little bit. So that's one thing I definitely need to do today. And then it's been so long since I first actually like wrote this e-guide and it's been done, it's edited and everything. From that time until now, I have gotten married. So I had to go through each page because my name is on the bottom of each page as well in the little footer uh, that I have there and change my name to my new last name for my maiden name. So. I need to make sure that I didn't miss anything because when I was editing the other day and I was like kind of proofreading and just going through it and making the tweaks, I did leave my name in the maiden name on one of the pages. So I just wanna make sure that all of them are changed and everything is flowing and cohesive anywhere my name is in the e-guide. Um, and then the last thing that I definitely need to make sure that I do is go and decide between the two platforms that I've been looking at as far as like where I actually wanna sell this e-guide because I built my website on WordPress and usually when we do WordPress websites, we use WooCommerce as the, I guess, e-commerce plugin um, of choice when it comes to selling digital products or physical products. We've used that for like clients in the past when we've done like some freelance work um, and I'm saying we, my uh, husband and I, um, 
but I don't know that I really want to deal with that. I kind of just want to put it on a different platform and just let them do the work. That way I don't have to worry about if anything didn't get automatically sent out when somebody purchased something. I don't have to worry about anything. I literally just need to upload the PDF version of the e-guide and it will literally do the work for me and I'll get paid. So um, I feel like I am between Gumroad and there is a platform that I've been seeing a lot from creators that I follow on Instagram that have been, you know, creating uh, digital products here lately and they've been using something called beacons. So I need to figure out like and do like a comparison between the two and figure out which one might work best for me. So that's another big thing that I have to do. So with that to do list ran down and those tasks, let's just jump right in and get started with the first one. All right, good morning. It is the next day. It is June 23rd. It is Sunday and I am just checking in with you guys because yesterday I took a lot longer to do those tasks that I set out to do. They took way longer than I anticipated them to take and mostly because when I was reading through, I think this was like my third read through for the, you know, duration of this week. I decided to add a whole new page. So the e-guide is now 35 pages instead of 34. And there were just a couple of things that I wanted to add because I found out about them after writing the initial e-guide. So I wanted to make sure that those things were included because they were really important to me to include. So got that done, but it took a little while because I had to construct the page, type it out, all that stuff, reread through that and just get everything that was necessary for that page done. I also went through and fixed the footer on each page so it reflected the new title, which by the way, I did go ahead and switch it to the second option of the title. So I went through and changed the title on every page as well as make sure my, uh, my new last name was updated on every single page. So got all of that stuff done. And the last thing I did was just revise the section that I told you guys I was thinking about revisiting. I did wanna revisit that, but I didn't wanna take it out. I wanted to just kinda make sure that it sounded a little bit more like how I wanted it to sound. And so did that, got that done, and I'm happy with it. And so yeah, the e-guide is completely finished. And so really all I have left to do today is figure out which platform I'm gonna put it on. So let's just hop right into that as a pickup point for today. Okay, so I have two platforms that I'm deciding between as far as where to actually post this e-guide to sell. One of them is Beacons, which is right here. Um, I have seen this on a lot of creators, like Lincoln Bios. There were a couple of creators that have recently, uh, you know, launched their digital products online. And I noticed that they were using this platform. And I keep seeing people talking about like, oh, don't sell on Etsy, which I did, I definitely didn't consider doing, but they are referring to Beacons as one of the places to probably sell for your digital products. So I wanted to just take a look. Um, at first I was like, oh, there's too many people doing these like ad like recommendations for it. But then I did start to see creators that I've been following for a long time, creators that I trust that I have actual online relationships with using this platform. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and take a look. So Looking at this, um, there are different tiers that you can choose from. So there's the Creator Pro, the Store Pro, Business Pro. Um, obviously, I don't need too much. I'm not doing anything for like a big business or anything like that. And I saw these three tiers and then I realized all the way at the bottom, there's the free plan. Before, obviously, of course, they don't want you to just go straight for the free plan. They want you to pay, which is understandable. But I think for what I need, honestly, this free plan is perfect enough to start with. Um, you get a customizable link in bio. You can sell your products and get a customizable media kit, which honestly, I need to work on my media kit. Um, I have one, but I do kind of want to like, I, basically, I really need to take like more pictures and just redo a whole bunch of stuff like my website and just everything all around. But that'll come in the future, probably sometime. Yeah, I don't even know, but I'm not thinking about that as a necessity right now. So um, I think for right now, this is an option. There is a 9% transaction fee for this one, which comes out to be pretty cheap for what I'm selling it for. So I'm not too worried about that. 
The other option is Gumroad. I have experience with purchasing a ton of digital products on here. I've purchased a lot of templates from other creators. I've purchased uh, some 3D modeling courses from here. Never had an issue with any of my downloads or anything. This is just a platform that I have personally purchased from multiple times. Um, there's a creator, Siobhan Selman. Uh, I love his channel. He's a tech creator. He sells like wallpaper packs for your um, desktop or your phone. And I've gotten stuff from him on here. So yeah, I've just had a lot of experience from purchasing here. It looks like they don't have any like different tiers that they go by. They just have this 10% flat rate, which is obviously a percent more than um, Beacons. But again, it's not that much. So I am okay with this as well, because for me, in my head, I'm just justifying the flat rate for both either platform that I decide to go with as basically me paying for them, giving me the peace of mind that when someone comes and purchases the product, I don't have to worry about if the download failed, if they didn't get their automatic download when they paid their money, um, if something just didn't go right within the transaction, everything is just done here. You just upload the PDF to the platform and they take care of the rest. I will pay the dollar or however much to have the peace of mind that they are doing that for me so that I don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna decide, you guys will obviously see which one I end up going with once it's actually live because I'm just gonna sit here and just kind of play around, kind of look and do a little bit more research on each and see which one I can get a better, you know, just get more out of. and it. It might be beacons just because again you get the customizable link and bio and things like that so which i've been wanting to update mine anyway so let me look at this and you guys will see what's going on once i post the product for sale okay i wanted to close out this video by quickly going through the contents of what's included in this e-guide so it is a seven step e-guide to start your coding journey based off of the self-taught perspective because you know that is my story i did not go to any kind of university or get a cs degree or anything like that and i didn't go to any expensive boot camps or you know any official boot camps or anything like that my journey in web development and getting my first web development positions have all just been on research and self-teaching myself and just putting together my own projects and so I wanted to put together a guide based off of my experience for those of you who are at the very beginning of your coding journey for those of you who are thinking about transitioning from one career into tech and you don't know where to start you don't even maybe know that you want to code at all because we all know there's so many different avenues in tech some of them you don't even have to learn how to code um, so this is kind of for people that are in those areas this might also work for those of you who have started coding and you just don't know exactly what you want to do what your end goal should be or if you even want to stick with that particular language maybe you're thinking about switching and you just don't know where to start so hopefully this guide will help those of you in those positions. So again, this is a seven step guide and included in those seven steps are finding your why and defining your goals, choosing your first programming language, finding your resources, projects, making networking a priority, building your resume and applying to your first tech job. So again, this is just a brief description of the e-guide, but I'll have a more descriptive breakdown of it on the platform. When you go to purchase the e-guide, you can read through it all. And if you're watching this, that means the e-guide is live and you can find it in my description box below. Or if you're on my Instagram, you can find it in the link in bio or on my website. And yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm nervous about it, but I think that it will help some people and that's all I ever want to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully Hopefully you find this video helpful. Hopefully you find some value in it and value in the e-guide. I really hope to put out more digital products in the future and really actually document them from beginning to end so that you guys can see my entire process, like how I go about setting it up, the softwares that I use, the proofreading process, just the whole step-by-step -step shebang whenever I decide to put out another e-guide, which should be pretty soon, hopefully. But here you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me. I feel so blessed to have you guys and hopefully we can continue to help each other throughout this journey that we're on. Thank you for everything and I will see you guys in the next one.